movie, very romantic movie, I think, um, that uh, centers around people that are um, quirky that you really haven't seen. So it's sort of a mixture of this genre that you've never seen before because of the, the players in it. I play uh, Pat Solitano, who is a gym teacher, high school gym teacher, who on the day we meet him, he is released from a hospital that he plea bargained because he had uh, to have that sentence rather than go to jail because he was, um, he uh, beat the hell out of his wife's boyfair, uh, boyfriend, uh, who um, he caught them uh, having sex in their shower of his home uh, in the afternoon when he came home early from school. He's got an agenda. He's going to read his ex-wife's or his wife's uh, high school syllabus. Uh, he's going to get in shape, and uh, he's going to get her back. It's very clear. Pat Sr., played by Robert De Niro, is uh, much different than the book. Their relationship is much different than the book. Um, and, you know, again, all of these things were explored on set with David O. Russell, and that's the unique thing about making a movie with him is it is, it is truly a discovery every day. And um, we discovered many things, you know. I mean, it was certainly written that he was uh, obsessive-compulsive um, and that he was a, you know, a bookie and that he had financial issues because of that. Um, and that he has a, but the, but the dynamic between he and his son was never, you know, fully experienced until we actually did it. It's very easy uh, to act with him. And these were not easy scenes. I mean, very difficult scenes that were really effortless because he's just so good. I mean, he really is the best. Um, and how wonderful that he had a character to sink his teeth into in this movie because he really mined uh, every possible uh, element with David O. Russell uh, of Pat Sr. Jennifer Lawrence plays Tiffany Maxwell, um, and I had never uh, met her, and I had never seen uh, Winter's Bone, um, um, but um, I was told that she was an incredible actress, and there were a lot of women that were um, jockeying for that role, and that she, she wanted out, and she's young, she's 21 years old, and it's like, wow, she's going to play that character, and then I had one conversation with her on the phone, and I sort of knew right away that, 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 that this was going to work, this dynamic, and then how special she was. Chris Tucker, what a what a coup, man! Uh, um, he plays uh, Pat Sultano's friend in the hospital, and he gets out shortly after. Uh, uh, he what what a, what a, first of all, he's a great spirit of a human being. Uh, and I was such a big fan of his before, and um, even from like Dead Presidents and Jackie Brown. He's you know stuff that other besides Rush Hour. I mean, he's 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 a really really uh, talented, great actor, and uh, and just even more than that, he's a great guy. So we we had we had fun the scenes that we had together. For me, he's one of the best American film directors, No, not even a question about it. You know, from Spanking the Monkey to Flirting with Disaster to Three Kings to, um, to I Heart Huckabees to The Fighter. I mean, the guy is just, uh, he's, you know, I, I'm, I, he's incredible. And, and you know a great director when you can see a frame of their movie and you know they're the ones that have directed it. And he has that um, patent. It's this idea of how Pat wants to live his life, and then I think what he actually finds, which is the same thing. You know, he's always trying to find a silver lining, and he's got a playbook by it. Um, you know that this is this is this is the me the mode with which he's going to live his life now that he's out of the hospital and he's he's trying to recover from this horrible thing that happened. Um, also, the idea of sports and a playbook and the Eagles. You know, it sort of encompasses a lot of the themes and the images of this movie. This is a movie about how, um, you know, this guy is able to set free of uh, this, this, this trauma that has occurred in his life through uh, the love he feels for another human being. And in, so, and in discovering that, uh, finds a serenity and peace within himself and hopefully uh, uh, a path to love himself.